And we're back with some more RimWorld. And things are going well. We're just about to activate the engines, but I thought we'd put together a few extra mortars before we started. We've got three, but I was advised maybe stick in a few extra ones. Uh, also, glass steel doors here on some of these outer ones, just to make sure that we've got some decent protection. Uh, one kill box is good to go. Oh, we should bring all that stuff back inside as well, sooner rather than later. And we are burning the last of the scraps over here. And as well as that, we are going to dump a whole bunch of contents. We have, like, just so much silver. That is a stupid amount of silver to have, and it's driving up our wealth ridiculously. The hell? Why did I put Delair in there? Oh, I was testing something. Never mind. Sorry about that, buddy. You're right now. All right, we want to fill this thing up to the absolute brim. We'll cancel load on that, and what we're going to do is we are going to chuck this full of silver, which is yet down, all the way down here. 18,000 silver. You know what, I'll put in some clothes as well. There we go. Lots of random junk that should go in there. Let's see, contents. Yeah, we're going to get rid of a whole bunch of random cloth and stuff. I just don't want that clogging up our, our base because our base looks like an absolute mess. Fear that should give us just a little bit more breathing room. I'm thinking of also putting down some barricades out here and here, or even walling in our entire base, but I'm not sure we have time for that. Maybe let it get a little bit too late in the year. Actually, no, we can throw in a quick wall. Eh, maybe something made of stone. We have so much of it. We have 2,200 blocks of sandstone, 2,100 blocks of, li of uh, lime, and 1,700 of slate. I think, yeah, quick sandstone wall all around the outskirts just to buy us that little bit more time when our enemies come a knocking. There we go. It's sort of a bit of a fire break. If they break through an outer wall because they're sappers or something like that, it buys us a little bit of time and hopefully protects the ship reactors. Well, that's the theory. All right, finish that last... One off. Perfect. we got another mortar up and running. We'll copy and paste the settings to that one too. What I'm hoping for is just one last attack by the enemies, or one last normal attack, and then we can switch over to activating the engines. And I think that's the best of everything done so far. I did not actually calculate if we have enough sandstone left to do all of this. Uh, I probably should have worked that out beforehand. Yeah, we probably do. I figure we're covered. Well, that's assuming they all stop having weddings long enough to actually finish the wall. We might actually just activate the engines and see. Mm, I'm kind of curious. Okay, we'll let this wedding finish. Then I think we activate all of them. Uh, I don't think we can activate them all at once, can we? Uh, we'll see. It's going to take 15 days for the engines to activate. Ooh, the bloody beasts. Well, now I'm kind of curious. The bloody beasts. 72 mana, I think mega slots, uh, draw the beasts away, we get a side trainer, skip shield, flash storm, nuclear stomach, immuno enhancer, love enhancer, three anti-grain warheads. Yeah, I think we would like those. Um, an elite mercenary group will be placed under control, you will have to feed and house them, but they may die in battle without consequence. Uh, they arrive 16 hours after you accept. Hmm. You know, that sounds like fun. So you, we are going to designate a power toggle in that one. In fact, we are going to uninstall you. We are going to uninstall you. Uh, we are going to uninstall you and you. I think we are done with our mining outside. In fact, yeah, that is all our external mining done. Then we're going to accept that mission and then we're going to activate the engines. I figure if we accept the mission, we might get, you know, some enemies show up and then they get greeted by 72 manhunting mega slots. It might be kind of funny. Well, this quest is about to expire and our people are about to have another wedding. So I think, uh, I think we're going to accept this quest now. Uh, we have 16 hours to prepare for it. So accept. Elite mercenary is going to arrive. Where are they dropping down? Uh, Steven, welcome to the team, buddy. An elite mercenary with a standard assault rifle. You'll, you'll fit in with the team. Grant, what's your bio? Slow learning masochist cannibal. You're going to love it here. Except for the slow learning bit. All right. At the same time, uh, let's do this. Now, if you start all the ship engines, confirm 15 days, blah, blah, blah. However, the thing is, it doesn't actually start all of them. It only starts one of them. So you have to literally go around and manually start a lot of them. Yeah, we'll start that one too. Thank you very much. The Those are started. Then just around. Oh. You get that lovely sound. All right then, so we have 12 ship reactors starting up. Excellent. Now, 
I've tested this before. It turns out it doesn't stack all the attacks. I was hoping I could like activate four or five ship engines and then deal with like four, five, four or five times as many raids as normal. It doesn't work that way. Unless they've patched it since. In which case, things are going to get interesting. Haven't turned unlimited threat scaling. I want to see what the first threat is like. We're just going to have a look at the first threat to see what it's like. Then we're going to turn off threat limiting and see what happens. Because then things could, should get absolutely mental. Oh, and I should really... I'm going to make a new zone for the thrombos. I don't want them wandering outside of our, our walled-in areas. There we go. Now they're only allowed inside this yellow area here. That should stop them from going too far. How's everyone going? Yeah, we just activated 12 engines. How's everyone feeling? Wedding time? Wedding time. Fine. We're... Stevens is not attending the wedding, you monster. But we're, we're not going to worry about that. They don't need the mood boost. In fact, I don't think our people need the mood boost. How's everyone's doing? Attended five weddings plus 61 mood. Yeah, I think we'll be good. Uh, Mood-wise, I think we'll be able to hold out till the end of this. Well... Quest-wise, uh, we can expect those mega slots to arrive in about another eight hours. Uh, great, more masterworks. Dear Lord, there's just too many. Okay, human leather tail cap, human leather tail cap, human leather tail cap, human leather tail cap. I was kind of hoping for at some point they would produce, you know, uh, armor. We're looking for some more of that masterwork armor. Ugh, Phoenix armor, 23. Exotic goods trader, excellent. I summoned a couple of exotic goods traders before I kicked off all the missions. So they should be here shortly. I've got one from the Teen Coalition and one from whoever else there were. In fact, we can dump a bunch of wealth on them. Hopefully get some more insanity lances or preferably invisibility. If one of them had invisibility, that would be amazing. Slim, where are you? You're sleeping. That is wonderful. But your rest will be rather swift. And then I want you to trade with them. So let's double check who's got the best trade price. Yep, it's still Slim. Slim is our number one trader still. Slim? Run! Uh, do you have... No, you, you do have a jump jet pack. Damn it. Problem is, they're trying to get away too quickly. Jump. Temperature is too cold for the people here. Uh, yeah, there's good. Excellent trade. Come on. Come. Ooh, excellent. I thought they were going to escape. They've got Berserk Pulse, which... You know what? We'll take it. I think that's a pretty good haul. Berserk Pulse, Skill Trainer Medical, Insanity Lance, Glitter World Medicine, Advanced Components, and Regular Components. And then we're immediately going to trade with them again, and we're going to give them some gifts. Uh, namely, so that, you know, they'll, they'll come and help us later when the time comes. We'll just give them four grand. I'm not even going to try and get rid of stuff we don't need, because, well, they're an exotic goods trader. That puts them to 87, which, excellent. Now we just got to make sure we get all this stuff back inside before the mega slots show up. How long we got on that? Ooh, four hours. Yeah, time to do a little bit of emergency hauling. Okay, that gets all of those out of the way, and... <sighs> well, I was hoping we were about to get into this trader, but... Quest-wise, it's been 16 hours. Oh, I thought it was 18. Never mind, 16 hours. That is... That is exactly 72 mega slots, uh, as predicted. Hmm. Now, where to face them is the question. We need a choke point. We can't fight them anywhere outside of a choke point, and that might result in the death of this. Um... Yeah, let's see if they've got anything worth protecting before we risk anything. Honestly, nothing too worthwhile. Side trainer, skip trunk, and burden are not really worth it, in my opinion. They've got a few other bits and bobs, but I'm thinking no. And I'm thinking we're going to let them get mauled, and while they're busy mauling them, that'll let our people get a bit of a nap in. And then uh, we'll go out and take care of them. Let's see, where's the, probably the best place? Yeah, we'll take care of them in the kill box. Why not? Uh, yeah, kill box seems like the best place to do it. Well, once they're finished dealing with the traders. Our people have been limited to inside. Slim, I'm going to try and run Slim. Where are you going? Slim, I'm going to try and get you. I didn't want Sarah. I'm going to try and get Slim out here to maybe get a bit of a trade on. Maybe they can do this really quickly. Or maybe not. Oof. They do have a jump jet pack and they've got two charges left in it. Ooh. A little bit risky. Ooh, excellent. All right, then. Let's see if you've got anything we'd be interested in. Yeah, that looks pretty good. We'll take all of that stuff. Thank you. And then we will trade with you again and give you about four grand and change. Well, it just... It keeps them nice and happy. And uh, we're going to be calling upon them for some reinforcements. Just, well, reinforcement fodder distractions. That'll give us about 36 of a mood bonus with them. And jump over here. Get away from all of those mega slots and then run inside. Yeah, I'm afraid you're all gonna die out there. 
Yeah, there's 72 of them. I don't see that ending well. Uh, let's get a kill squad into the, the kill box. Or... Or we just close the doors. Um... What if we just closed the doors and left them outside for the rest of the day? We wouldn't be able to do any work outside, but who cares? The doors are locked. Uh, oh, I'll have to change the, the allowed zones for the animals. Say we'll stick all the thrombos in with the wargs for a minute. Uh, no one's allowed outside. Perfect. That means they'll stay out there and assuming an attack comes in in a short while, the uh, mega slots will take care of it. How long have the engine's been active? 13 days and we still haven't received an attack. Randy, come on. Oh, and one thing I should have done a while ago, maybe build a second hospital bed. Daniel had an inspired creativity, so we dumped that into a hospital bed that should hopefully help us out in the long term. And though, do we have any more room in that hospital? In fact, let's shrink that zone and stick in a second hospital bed. I mean, it can't hurt. All right, uh, maybe those mega slots outside get something to chew upon shortly. I mean, we've had those engines activated for a while. Oh, people can't, are unavailable. Let's see. Oh, excellent. All of this junk is driving up our wealth massively. Let's just launch it. Uh, pod isn't completely loaded. Don't care. We will launch that at, what is this, sunblocker? Yep, yeah, off you go to the sunblocker. It won't actually be good. Yeah, they were, they were lost entirely, but we don't care. What this has done is driven down our wealth, or it should have. And I give it a day or two to update. We want to drive our wealth down, because if we're, get ridding, we're getting rid of the threat, uh, limiter that means all of it will count and oh damn it battery's gone again every time a batch one of these batteries go i'd have to reassign it to the home zone i don't put those in the home zone because there's too much filth in there because of all the animals normally seriously randy it's been 13 days and you still haven't sent a raid the mega slots are getting hungry hey okay the mech hive yeah we're gonna have to turn off the threat limiter after this but yeah so we're uh, oh my god we got forty thousand points we're gonna be four times above the normal Edge drop, right, right, jump to location. They're going to land over here. In fact, let's let's change the mod settings now. Where is it? Unlimited threat scaling. This allows us to increase the threat cap if we want, so we could, you know, increase it by that, or we can just uncap. Yeah, let's hope that doesn't break anything. This means all the raids from now on will be actually based on our real wealth. Oh, wow, there's two raids landing? That's a new one. We have 18 centipedes, right? Uh... Six Lancers, that's not really a lot. Five Scythers. Any pikemen? I don't see any pikemen. All right. Now let's see what happens. Now the thing is, it depends how quickly they aggro or how fast they all head over towards them. Come on. You gonna... You gonna do anything? You gonna attack each other? All right. Over here, we've got it starting up. Oh yeah, that's, that's not good. Not for the the, me the mega slots, anyway. Over here, much more of a pileup. Oh, that fire weapon's going to make your life a living hell. Yeah, I don't think they're going to last very long. But there's a whole pile down more down here that you have to deal with. Come on. Oof. Yeah, they're setting fire to all my power wires over there. That's not good. Dear Lord, did, how many of them? Like, they've still got 18 centipedes. That's... Is that more than what they started with? I feel like the, the centipedes are actually multiplying. Oh god, we're gonna have to deal with that in a minute now. Not my corpse pile! Oh no, I kinda need that corpse pile. Oh well. well. We'll have to go out and take care of that in a minute. That's sort of annoying. Ooh! Critical alert fire. Well, yeah, I know. Well, then we'll have to change some home zones here. I've got some wiring that we don't actually care about anymore. Yeah, like that stuff, we don't care. Anything outside of those walls, we're just going to be ignoring. Well, we don't really care about it. And I need to start getting people into the kill box. I think, I think we're going to want to open the kill box to start taking a stab at these seven centipedes because I'm pretty sure these ones over here, yeah, was it? Yeah, these eleven over here are are going to mincemeat these these mega slots. Yeah, I don't think these are going to have much help. So let's grab a bunch of people and get them in here. All right, team. Everyone get together. Uh, where is Sarah? Sarah, I'm going to... Damn it. I'm going to have Sarah stand in the door if at all possible. The reason being, she can happily skip some people back. Oh, I forgot to make some changes here. All right, you, Stephen. Who are you? Oh, you're that... Yeah, you're the guy who showed up for no reason. Anyway, give me a minute to configure this, but 
Yeah, they're turning around and starting to come into our kill box. Excellent. We need to get some EMP grenades to help out, though. Ooh. They might kill a few of them. Like, that one's actually got hurt, but I, the problem is every time they get set on fire by that one, that's a problem. They need to actually kill that one and tie that one up in melee combat. Otherwise, they just keep getting setting on fire. And those two over there, they might actually die as well. Okay, stop getting distracted. We got EMP grenadiers heading over to where they need to go. Everyone else is going to get lined up in good shooting spots. Uh, I think. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you, you can't stand there. That's pointless. And I think that's all we need. We'll put one there as well. You start firing immediately. And you start firing just behind them. How are we looking? That's some good... Oh my god, those two are like absolutely surrounded. Mostly in corpses, though. Uh, how are we looking? Quest available, mighty building, inspire taming. You better not destroy our walls. Oh my god, they're going to mincemeat our walls if we're not careful. Uh, you two are repairing. Excellent. Yeah, this is probably a bad idea. It's made this place so messy that the repair bill is going to be incredible. <laughs> Still totally worth it. And over here, how are we looking? Yeah, those things shredded everything. I mean, they killed a couple, or three or four, but... Yeah, I'd almost wish we just waited, took them into the kill box and killed them that way. It might have been better. Um... Hmm. Also, I think I should get some people over there to uh, clean up the kill box. Bleeding out in two hours. Yeah. And we'll, I'd like to save those corpses if at all possible. They're a food supply for us. I think we'll take three people over there right now and take care of it. Yeah. And we'll let everyone else, I think, get back to work. I don't think... Hmm. Actually, no. We'll leave everyone else here for now. Okay, but I think this fight is mostly taken care of. We'll have to wait until those centipedes show up to our kill box. All right, fires put out. That means we should have food for the long haul. Excellent. Uh, you guys get back inside immediately. Actually, we'll bring you back down here just in case we need you, but I think, I think we're good. Oh my god, it's a mega slot versus one of these things, and I kind of just want to slap them both. Uh, you, intern, get over here for a second. I might get that to poke out the back and just, like, punch that thing in the rear just to speed along its death. Come on. Seriously? Actually, you know what? Let's just leave that door closed. Oh my god. What are you guys doing? What are you doing? Move it, move it. Right. It's just this is going to drag out the time it takes us to deal with this if they don't hurry up a bit. No, uh, you know what? You can, you can immediately go back to work. I'm going to let everyone grab a snack for a minute. They're not going to be finished up with these mega slots for a while. And considering how slow these things are moving, several of them, I believe, are injured. Uh, yeah, they all got scratched up a little bit. Yeah, everyone grab a nap, grab a snack, do your meditation, whatever it takes. Well, I think we're just about done. Daniel started a social fight with Steven? Oh, kick that guy's butt. He's a nobody. Smack him down. Uh, where were we? Ah, uh, yes, over here. We're going to open these doors. Uh, yeah, hold open and hold open, and we're gonna get ready for the uh, the incoming mechanoids. Yeah, these guys are on their way, and they're gonna slaughter the last of the mega slots. And when they do, we need them to have a clear path. We'll also have to deal with a mega slaughter too, but no big deal. Oh, stop chewing up my walls! Yeah, if they break open that walls, that would be very annoying. Ooh, okay, excellent. Not the worst thing in the world. All right, let's uh, let's prepare for the inevitable. And here comes the start of the end of all the mechs. That's six centipedes there. There's a seventh one much further away we're going to have to probably go out and deal with. But that also deals with most of the mega slots. Uh, and, oh, Tony's still alive? How are you still alive, Tony? I'd go out and rescue you, but you're a psychopathic wimp, so it's not really worth the effort. Raid, mech hive. Well, that's a problem. Um, Right, and we've turned off the threat limiters. This is going to be annoyingly horrible. Haywire. Landing scattered all over the area. Oh, this is really bad timing. Alright then, so... Yeah, this is gonna be a problem? Oh, god. Okay, so this is like a normal raid multiplied by four, multiplied by two, but it's a Haywire drop pod raid. 
Um, I have no idea where they're all going to land. I'm betting some of them are going to land inside her base. I have to see. Yeah, there's one that's bad. That one's got to be dealt with. Oh, uh, there's one over there. That's okay. That's okay. Just, just so long as there's nothing inside. Oh. Yeah, like, should probably harvest those if they're fully gone. I think that one's the only one that scares me. Anything else in here? No. All right, in that case, in turn six, we need you over here as soon as possible. Uh, Ralph, where are you? You're on the front lines. Okay, in turn zero, you are also on the front lines. Yeah, but we need someone who would skip. Now, what we need to, what we need is in turn six to start closing the ground with this thing, whatever it is. If it's ranged, he needs to get up right in its face and start smacking it. If it's not ranged and it's a close combat thing like a scyther, then we'll have to bring in someone with skip to skip it in or to skip it away and shoot it down. So best person for that. In turn zero does not have skip, so that kind of narrows it down. Sarah is kind of at the front line. Ralph. Is currently watching for targets, but does have skip and a few other useful abilities. So, Ralph, you're going to be going over here. Actually, which would be faster? Would down here or up here? No, nope, this is the fastest route. Okay, the rest of them are all going to land outside. And, oh my god, that is so many transport pods. How many is that? That is 48. And that does not include those four. So, it's 48 transport pod things dropping. But we only have to worry about this one. Come on. Ralph, okay. It is exactly what we feared. All of you, summon up, get together. You have... Ralph, where's your skip ability? Okay, there. Get a little bit closer. Okay, perfection. I'm gonna get you to skip them there. Melee attack that centipede. The rest of you, get in behind. Uh, you. Jump shit back to over here is good. Jeremy, get in there. Okay. Excellent. The rest of them are getting slaughtered quite efficiently. Okay, then. That worked out much less painfully than I thought it was going to be. All of you can get back to work. Uh, except for Ralph. Ralph, you're going to be wanted back on the front lines. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, draft you up. You're, there's a gap here somewhere. Now, I was just doing a quick check here. How many centipedes did we have left? Because we'd killed a few, and I'm sure some came down in the drop pods. But I realized there's 50. There, there, there's 50 centipedes that dropped out of the sky. Turns out every single one of those drop pods was a centipede. All of them. 100% full-on drop pod of centipedes. Uh, well, we're going to get our kill give our kill box a workout. That's for sure. Um... I, but it's a well-tested kill box. We should be able to slowly grind through them all. It's just the exhaustion of dealing with them all that I'm worried about. All right, then. Uh, on the bright side, that one got dealt with with absolutely no worries. Daryl, how are you doing? How have you not got healed up yet? Oh, yeah, you got into a fist fight with that newbie, Steven. Or is he? He's sleeping off. Yeah, he's sleeping off the beating you gave him. Good job. Uh, well, uh, I'm going to have to figure out when to cycle people out of here and cycle new ones in because we can't leave them there. For for the time it's going to take to kill 50 of these, we're going to have to cycle fresh people in, cycle old people out. It's just going to be a bit of a grind, but we should be able to handle it. But we're seeing what unlimited threat scaling is like. It's nasty, but I'm worried about more things like a center drop or maybe some of the larger raids. This is turning out to be a bit of a tough grind. We've already got 23 centipede corpses here. Well, uh, uh, you are like I've got a a couple of replacements I can sub in, but it's just a case of finding who's the worst off? Who needs this time off the most? Uh, Slim, you know what? You can... No, we're going to get Slim out of there. And we're going to sub in D. Delir. Yeah, Slim, you can get back to grabbing a snack and hopefully grabbing some sleep. Jeremy is coming in as well. Uh, we're going to sub them in for someone else. Who can go out? Dear Lord, like there's just so... Yeah, you can get over there and Jeremy will take your place. Sarah does need a nap. And worst case scenario, we can abandon this spot and rotate them around to the other side. Well, due to some complications, one of them's managed to actually get by a little bit. I think we're going to skip him back, though. Yeah, that should help out. That's why we keep someone with skip around on the front lines. It's to stop that from happening. I think we've destroyed a door or something in there, so the kill box is not working as it should anymore. It's okay. It's okay for now. We've only got... 22 centipedes to go, and we have been scrapping up the corpses, so like, we've actually been chewing away at the corpses slowly but surely as they, they pop through the walls, just from the sheer amount of destruction going on. 
Okay, that guy needs to probably get shot just a little bit more. No, nope, that guy there. He's at 56%. Oh, now he's getting too far forward. Uh, I think it's time for another skip attempt. Yeah, there we go. They can rotate to the back. There's there's plenty more Saihi where that came from. Now, I'm trying to get people to rest up and come back in. Like, those three pawns there, once they've actually got a good night's sleep behind them, might actually be useful. But uh, everyone's definitely getting a bit tired. This has just been the longest killing spree. Now, on the right side, we do have a bunch of wake-up if we absolutely positively want to risk the overdoses. Or the, well, the addictions. And I mean, it's coming up on the end of the game. It might be a good thing, though. This early on, we've still got... 12 days left on the engine. I prefer to save the wake up until things are a little bit more desperate than this. I think we've broke this kill box. Uh, yep. I'm gonna have to go ahead and say we have, so it's time to open up the other one, I think. Uh, immediately. Uh, before it becomes problematic. Everyone, I would like you to go over there. We'll figure out the positioning in a second, but we better make sure these doors close behind us. Just once the, uh, the sandbags start to go over here, it becomes problematic. Run, 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 run. Everyone get out of there. There we go. Perfect. And then we'll get this crowd over the other side. Oh. Yeah, I maybe didn't think to leave some space there. But this is our first time really using this in a long time. How many is left? 15 centipedes. For the love of... Like, just... That's too many centipedes. <laughs> eh, my own fault. There we go. We're set up for the next wave of them. And they'll be in shortly. There's only 15 left. And once they're done, we're done. Oh. I should really put some doors on over here so I can start repairing this kill box while... Actually, that would be a good idea. Ooh, actually, there's a door right there, if I recall, is there? Yeah, a steel door. So we could close that door, repair the kill box from the inside, and not have to worry. Yeah, I might try that in a minute. Oh, guys. Uh, you start grenading there. There we go. Well, phooey. That was a mistake. Unbreakable, come back here. It turns out fire can break you. I really should have skipped that guy. I wasn't thinking. Eh. Done. Yeah, we're back to a Norman evil keel. We're just about finished here. There's only, what, five left? Dear lord. Let's hope that we get, like, at least half a day just to reduce some repairs. Otherwise, things could get kind of awkward. But considering how weak these are, we should be finished in no time. Then we gotta clean this up and prep it for the next raid. I mean, 50 centipedes for a first time raid with no threat limit seems pretty decent. Like, 50 centipedes? I, I was kind of hoping to start with tribals or something like that. We've definitely got the temperature outside is minus 9, so we were definitely allowed to get humans right about now. And the last one will go down. Perfect. Uh, you guys, I want you to equip that and equip that and get back to work. Uh, you can go back to work. In fact, yeah, let's change the zones and let's get this place sorted. Well, that's a lot of nutrient paste meals. Right. Oh, toad for that. Sorry. Buddy, grab, grab a snack. I think everyone's going to need a rather swift nap and uh, then straight to repairs. I've cranked up repair duty, so they hopefully repair some of this stuff a little bit faster. Gus, getting a neural supercharge. Fine, go for it. What's your movement speed? 3.80. After the supercharge, what do you got? Oh, still no improvement in movement speed. You think it would help. It actually increases consciousness by 10%. But, hey, it is what it is. And, of course, the first thing everyone does the moment they get any spare time, right back to the love puddle. I mean, seriously, your people should be exhausted. You've been shooting all day. Ugh. Never mind. They are who they are. Oh, and once that dies, which... Are you actually going to die? Uh, I'll have someone go ahead and finish that off. That should finish off that quest. And we should get our hands on... Where is it? Yes, those three anti-grain warheads. The mighty building? No, we're not building anything. Plus, the rewards are terrible. We don't want any of that. Well, the vanometric power cell wouldn't be terrible, but considering the amount of power we already have, it seems kind of pointless. Hey, the pods have arrived. What do we got? Okay, anti-grain warheads. Uh, three of them. Actually, uh, anti-grain warheads all around. I think for this, copy settings, uh, paste and paste. That way we can store all three of them in these and we can use them as we need. Uh, I might want to find someone who's not busy right now, consuming some nutrient paste to dump them in there. That would... Harvesting rice plants. No, no. Man that mortar, then once you finish that, you're going to man the other. Once they've manned all three of them, the the uh, anti-grain warheads will be safely stowed, and then we can use them as we need them, without having to worry about someone punching them. We still have four more in there as well that we can use, so I, I think it should lead to interesting times, assuming we get any humans showing up. Our people have been diligently working on repairs. 
pretty much everywhere. Uh, in fact, I think most of the kill box is finished, is it? Yeah, it replaced the sandbag that got damaged. And they seem to be... Bears. Like a whole bunch of walls did get damaged, but I think they've got most of them, so... Let's take it off repairs for now. Let them get back to construction. If they could do construction and repairs, we would be very happy. Ah, why is it always mechs? Haywire, landing everywhere. Yeah. Wait, this is identical to the last one. God oh, damn it, Randy. Fine. Uh, everyone, get back inside. Wait, where's Unbreakable? Why are you still injured? Burn from the Inferno Cannon. Okay, that was my bad. All right, uh, so... We're going to want to get everyone who's outside back inside. I need to do a quick roundup of everyone, and we need to bring them inside and make sure that any... I did not mean to unpause that. In turn six, uh, we'll let you back to doing what you were doing. Everyone else need to get inside as quickly as possible. Whatever is the closest door to where you are, that's where you need to go. Let me change some zones. Okay, everyone's headed back inside. Let's do this real slow. You've heard the transport pods are landing. That is... I don't think any have landed in our wind turbine areas this time around. Which is kind of crazy. I think... Yeah, everyone should be able to get back inside. Daniel, do you have anything to speed you along? No, you do not. And Totvidas can't help you. Well, the two of you have low shields, so worst case scenario, you can sort something out. But I think... Famous last words, but I think this is going to be fine. We'll just have everyone queue up around here around these steel doors and we'll shoot them again. Let's count the transport pods. How many have we got? 72. Okay, there's 72. That means they can't all be centipedes this time around, right? Just the, the law of logic. I mean, if the last time they were all centipedes and there was only 50 of them, and this time they can't all be centipedes. Yep, yep, I'm seeing some lancers and stuff. Yeah, you can uh, get back to work, actually. Assuming simple meal. You are going to be moving to get back inside. Yeah, it's looking good. Oh, yeah, yeah. In fact, you... I would like you to man that steel mortar for a second, because if you could load up that anti-grain warhead shell. Oh, they might pound on the door for a bit. But... Where is it? Oh, God. There's someone already entering the kill box. We need to get a team there immediately. Team is inbound. That Lancer might cause some minor issues, but I doubt it. I think we'll have enough people in place to get the shooting done. Uh, nope, you're going to stay right there. Probably have to get a couple of people to do the... Yeah, insta-death. I'll have to get a few people in to do EMP grenades, but we can hold out on that for just a second while we wait until the whole team comes along. All right, this is just going to be another grind session. Assuming we don't get hit by another raid while this raid is going on. I love the recycling that's going on, but we're busy killing those all. There's people coming along to scrap up the centipedes and all the lancers and all that stuff to turn into steel for us to use later. I kind of like that. Uh, oh yeah, a bunch of them are now grabbing naps. Oh, I should probably point out, we are dealing with 15, 15 lancers. Well, that's what's remaining. We've got 11 pikemen and there is 35 centipedes. Because of course there is. Randy just loves us. All right, uh... Stop pounding on that door. Go away. Gus, where are you going? You were going to repair that. That is good. You have construction skill of 12. Anyone else pound on anything? I think I think we're golden. Yeah, doors are covered. Everyone's inside. Nothing is jamming. Any doorways open. We should be reasonably safe. Though I am fearful of what's happened once we let those thrombos out. I'm pretty sure they're going to be starving after we've kept them inside for so long. Oh my god, there's a traffic jam to die. Please form an orderly queue, take a ticket, you will get EMP'd and riddled full of bullets in short order. Kinda wish I'd built more charge lances. Uh, actually, you can't get the... Uh, I'd have to actually dismantle this and take the prime rifle out. I kinda like the idea of just leaving the prime rifle there. You know what, we, we've got the assault rifles to deal with it and they've co done it well so far. Oh, I didn't notice a bulk goods trader showed up. Um, now a bulk goods trader is about to die. Guys? I mean... Thanks for showing up, but all your animals should should really start running right about now. It doesn't really make a difference. They won't have anything we really want to buy anyway. But hey, good to know. Oh, come on. You messed up the orderly queue they were making. Yeah, never mind. That just means it's going to take us even longer to kill them all because they won't have queued up in time. On the bright side, I think most of them are fleeing. Yeah. Oh, and some sheep joined us. I have no idea why. I'm just going to let them run away. Yeah, that's what you get for showing up on a tile with over 30 centipedes on it. They're what You were outnumbered. Oh, never mind. 
This is going to be a long day, isn't it? Oh, would you get that? Outlander pilgrims have arrived. Well, your timing is absolutely atrocious. Uh, I have bad news for you. This this is not a good place to be right now. Fast learning psychopath, I'm Sandra Stichelder, Wimp, and Eminent. You are, uh, yeah, you're all gonna die. Yes, you're all gonna die horribly. Like, there's no way we can kill all these enemies in time. And unless you decide to go in one of these side doors, you're, you're dead as a dodo. Those centipedes are just going to chew you to pieces. It takes us too long to kill them. There's 24 of them left. One of the great things about being right next to the nutrient paste dispenser is we can do dumb things like this, like let Casey off duty for a minute, let them go grab a snack, and the moment they've grabbed that snack, come on, they can go right back onto the line. Excellent. Uh, how's Delaire looking? Delaire, go grab a snack, buddy. You can slowly rotate people out to grab a snack and then get right back to it again. This is the most efficient assembly line of death I've seen in a long time. Did those? Oh my god, they actually went in the side door. Um, I can't believe you guys are still alive. Now, I'm just hopeful you don't do anything stupid to end up getting yourselves killed. Or us. Actually, more importantly, I hope you don't do anything stupid to get us killed. Uh, I'm gonna see if we've got anyone else who needs a snack right about now. Oh, you definitely look like you could use a snack. Intern Zero, go grab one right now. You look hungry, buddy. Well, that's annoying. We still have eight, seven centipedes to go. And we've got another raid coming in. And the pilgrims are still in here quite safely. Uh, Bulk Goods Trader is, is long dead and all of their animals have fled. We still have some random sheep knocking about the map, but no one seems to care. Alright, uh, so yeah, the pods arrived with integrated warheads. Actually, hmm, this siege seems promising then. Okay, these people, Sister of Valiant. Uh, mercenary Gunner, Mercenary Gunner, what's, what's, who the hell is that? Father of Colonist Grey Ghost, Father-in-Law of Colonist Samao, and Father-in-Law of Colonist Petra Massimo. What the hell? This one guy is related to three of our people? Oh, that's going to be so awkward when we kill him. Ugh, player wealth. Okay, how are we looking? 43,000. Our wealth has gone way up because there's just so many corpses on the map. All right, final result. 28,000 28, points. Well, yep. Yep, that looks like a lot. Um, all right, I need to do a quick check here. Who is currently not on the front lines? That could man a mortar, because uh, I think this could be pretty hilarious if we do this right. Petro, Petro Massimo is going to get on that mortar over there, load up an anti grain warhead, and we're going to see what an anti carrying warhead can do to whatever this is. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's... Two, wait, how is there 291 drop pods? That's just... Oh, okay, this, this could be a problem. Hey, what do you got in store for us? You got a lot of lag. Oh god, that's a lot of lag. So... No, that's no, the wrong button. Doomsdays, they got them. Okay, let's just go to colonist enemies. We currently have 298 enemies on the map. Seems very reasonable. Very, very reasonable. Now, uh, do any of them have low shield packs? There's one low shield pack, two, three low shield packs. Okay, there's a bunch. Um, They are going to have to find a location to set up, though. They are a siege. In the meantime, how is these going? We're down to six. Keep up the good work. Petro's going to take care of that entire raid all by themselves. Hopefully. I mean, I think the odds are quite good that they can do it. Nope. Operating turret. What are you doing? Come on. Come on. Load it up. Nope. 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 We are going to hold fire. Going to have you hold fire for a minute. Not get distracted by those. See where they're headed. They've got to set up somewhere. At some point, they will have to stop to set up. At which point, we're going to hit them. Come on. Hey, you guys are all doomed. You guys are still moving. Come on, come on, come on. Pick a location. The suspense is killing me. Oh, wow, and they left so much scrap behind. What are you talking about? Using claymores, comment about horseshoes. Yeah, 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 that's all good. Okay, there. I think they have stopped. That is exactly what we want. I think right there should be fine. Take off, hold fire. Where did I put that? There. Actually, there. Better. Okay, that's almost done. How many centipedes are you looking at over here? We're down to one. Perfection. Now, 
Let's see what the impact is like. And let's turn off those annoying speech bubbles. Oh, and do remember, it's pitch black out here. We've got that, that something going on. And... Impact in three, two, one. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> it's a terrible hit, but I think we got him. Yep, yep. I think we missed by a bit, but we still got enough of them that it doesn't... <laughs> Oh, that was beautiful. That was, uh, yes, that was pure beauteous. Now there is uh, 64 of them left. One of them has a doomsday. The rest are all dead. How many triples we got left on the ground? Just one triple? Well, I suppose the explosion did kill a bunch. Doomsday rocket launchers. How many we got on the ground? Just two? And... Uh, damn it. Give me, give me that. Okay, well, so one doomsday rocket launcher that we can use and one that is biocoded. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll take that one. Triple rocket launcher we don't care about. And I need to strip off the corpses that have got low shield packs. We are going to want those. That, yes, that was beautiful. Petro, excellent work. Just, just absolutely excellent work. We're going to put you on hold fire, let you reload that one. This one, you know what? We're just going to put you over to high explosive shells. So we've got one anti-grain in there, one anti-grain in there, and we've got four more uh, behind that wall if we need them. Yes, give me more organic raids like that. That was just... Mm, beautiful. And how are you looking? You are going to be dead in two seconds. Done. Now we can get that everyone get back to work, get our repairs up and running and continue on with our day. Oh, and the Outlanders have finished venerating and are now leaving. That's uh, great. Did, are you suffering from any chill? No, it's actually only minus 18 degrees in there. So you guys are pretty minus 65, minus 77 and minus 68. You guys came prepared. Mega Sloth Wool Parka, Mega Sloth Wool Parka, and Alpaca Wool Parka. Excellent. All right then. How are we looking on scrap on the map? That's all. See, see that? See that Christmas tree on the map? That's where all the metal scrap landed from all of the people that have landed down so far. But that was amazing. Um, gathering Doomsday Rocket. Damn it! I also need to grab all those low shield packs before they burn up. Well, we did manage to get a couple of low shield packs and a Doomsday out of that, but the rest of it, I'm afraid, is going to explode. Uh, yeah, not really much we can do about that. Eh, whatever. It's unfortunate. Uh, how's our walls doing? Oh, yeah, everyone's taking a well-earned nap. It's just, it's exhausting killing that many centipedes. Like, there's just so many of them. I think this is, yeah, that's probably the most centipedes I've seen in a long time. Oh, Petro, sorry, buddy. Shouldn't have kept you on there for so long. But good job. What's your kills at right now? 461 kills. I'm gonna guess kill-wise you're probably in the lead right about now. In total kills, coming in at number one is Petra Massimo with 461. And I'm guessing at least 200 of those came from over here. Like, just... Yeah, there's still 93 corpses that haven't burnt up yet. And what's hissing? Uh, whatever it is, it's popped. Uh, what's your gear at? Oh, ooh! You can now strip this guy. I was... I thought he was going to burn up. That's another low shield pack. Thank you kindly. Hey, someone want to get over here and strip this guy? I was actually kind of hoping that whole place would burn. I might want to send someone out with a Molotov. Uh, the problem is it's going to drive up our wealth. You can actually see a bit of a dip here where we sent a bunch of stuff off in transport pods, but then well, all of this showed up. Uh, we need to fire off some more resources as well. Uh, not the money, maybe the hats. We have too many tail caps. It feels kind of wrong to get rid of the tail caps, doesn't it? Maybe we just eat the wealth. Hmm. Might be better to just eat the wealth. How much steel we got? 1700, but we'll have more as we slowly scrap that stuff up. All right, I've uh, let the thrombos loose as well to go grab some snacks and meals. Everyone's grabbing a rest, and we should be, well, well rested and prepared for the next attack. Uh, hopefully we can get the wall completed, but honestly, I kind of doubt it. I'm pretty sure we're just going to keep getting hit and hit and... Oh, would you look, it's the... the, the uh, how long was that? I mean, seriously. Okay, the first one we got a bit of time between, but then the second one hit, and then... Uh, you know what? Who cares? They're attacking immediately. Approaching from multiple angles, attacking immediately. Yeah, 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 whatever. How many... <laughs> 98 centipedes! <laughs> okay, it turns out taking the, taking the raid point limiter off kind of just changes things slightly. 98 centipedes? Oh my god, that's ridiculous! All right then, so uh, get get everyone back inside, set the zones back inside, then uh, get everyone to a kill box. Uh, what do you do? 
repairing the human leather sandbags. We might want to move over to this one. I think this one's repaired up, but uh, we're probably going to have to switch halfway through again because I think one kill box is going to be able to hold this. But I really wish they'd send more human raids. These mech raids take too long, and there's no way we could take those in the field. We need a kill box for them. I kind of wish we had a standard issue kill box for them, but uh, it is what it is. It's just a sea of centipedes. Yeah, this is going to take a while. How many is there? Yeah, just 98. We're going to be chewing through these for an entire day, and by the time we're finished with them, another raid will hit immediately afterwards. I really wish there was more humans. I mean, it's definitely the right temperatures. Randy just wants to hit us with mech raids for some reason. Oh, we're also going to stick in a second machining table, just so we have a hope of scrapping up all of these robots. There's just too many of them. Can't scrap them up as fast as they're coming in. We've already got... 67 centipede corpses that we haven't taken care of from the last two raids. Or was it three? You know what? I can't keep track at this point. It's fine. Yeah, this is turning out to be a glorious mess. Uh, everyone get out of there if you don't mind. We're going to close those doors. Uh, you can close that one. You can close that one. And we're going to pop down to the other side again. Because of course we are. Because it's just, there's too many of them. We still got 75 left to go and this kill box is already damaged. Right. Oh. Uh, we should probably power that up, and we should probably put in a bill for this. Yeah, Shred Mechanoid to do it forever, because that's how long it's going to take to shred all these suckers up. Now uh, time to go over to this section. Uh, I think I might want to do some smart zoning or some way of closing this area off, just so that we can repair this actively. Uh, I should also cycle in a few people. It's just there's so much killing to be done, and there's just not enough time. I even popped out a little bit and did a Berserk Pulse. Uh, I think... Uh, or is it Intern Zero got a little bit scorchioed almost, but uh, they, they came out just alive, thankfully. And I think there's just too many. It's going to take forever to kill all of these. we got to hope some humans show up just to give us a chance to repair. All right, we have, well, we've opened this up, sealed in that section right there, and now we're getting everyone to repair and replace everything in there. So that if this thing breaks down, we can actually rotate them back up to the top kill box. So we've actually worn out this kill box killing stuff. Then we, well, okay, first we wore out this one, rotated everyone up to the top, wore out that one, rotated everyone down to the bottom, and now we're going to have to rotate them back up to the top again, assuming we can get this place fixed. Come on, Slim. Oh my god, it's so slow to move in there. What are you doing? Hauling human leather to the second section. Great, just just haul that leather, buddy. We need that place up and running as soon as possible. Oh, Charlie and Valiant broke up. What caused it? Charlie told Valiant that it's not working. Uh, Charlie said something about saws to Valiant. Turns out Valiant didn't like that. Okay. Huh. Well, that's a thing. Uh, let's see how your mood's holding up. No, massively high. Oh, well, you got divorced. Your sister died. <laughs> yeah, cabin fever. Well, yeah, everyone's mood is still maxed out. That's fine. Yeah, we managed to seal these doors, get this whole place repaired up. So I'm going to get intern here to open these doors again. And actually change some zones and make sure that this kill box is ready in case this one collapses. Because we've got 31 of these still left to go and we've got... 117 centipede corpses to grind up. Oh, I should probably also close these doors. That would be a smart idea. Oops. There we go. That should convince them all to come around to the proper kill box again. On the bright side, this is providing us with, you know, lots of plasteel and components. How many components get? 15 components, jo that was those ones dropped. Oh well, how many left? 23. And we still have 10 days left on the engines. Dear Lord, I'm just really not looking forward to the time when we get a raid that's like a, a breacher raid or something like that, because you, can you imagine 50 centipedes with breachers? I, I don't want to even think about how much that's going to cost us. This is this is like an endurance race. I keep having to rotate people in and out. So I'm like sending, like Raph there, I kept him on grenades for far too long, so I rotated in Daniel. There was another person on grenades, I rotated them out and rotated in Slim. Daniel here is about to come in and take over from someone who's on the line. Uh, let's see, who who is the worst off? Who needs the most recreation? Oh, look at that. Rest, recreation, they're all bottom of my out. Uh, uh, Casey, yeah, go take a break, buddy. We'll have uh, Daniel fill in for you. We've got a bunch of other people who are currently sleeping and getting the rest and recreation and all that stuff topped out. In turn six, hey, uh, you're a sword wielder, never mind. I'm beginning to regret getting anyone in close combat. And we should probably, yeah, we'll harvest that wood. We don't need it. Up to 1,400 wood, but I, I refuse to not harvest it if it's available. You're down to 12 centipedes. Problem is, the moment we deal with these centipedes, I just know another raid's going to hit. But there's 9.9 .9 days left on the engines, which means we're five days down. We're a third of the way through it. And all we've got to show for it so far is 137 centipede corpses. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, it was exactly kind of what I was expecting. Okay, Ralph, go grab some rest, buddy. How's your malnutrition looking? It's trivial. It's trivial. You'll get over it. Okay, and we'll wait until someone else comes along to take over from these guys. Jesus. Ten centipedes left. So close. We managed to break the skill box again, so we've moved everyone up the top. Uh, oh, damn it. Did I make someone... Yeah, I put in a careful shooter again. I need to be more careful about that. Thankfully, it's the last of them, so this shouldn't be too big of a deal. Yeah, there's only three left there and one more to go. Guys, could you finish those off? Okay, two left. Uh, I don't think we have anyone with skip there. Uh, you can get over there. Maybe you can get a bead. Seriously? Come on, it, it's still stunned. Just kill it. I don't want to get any shots off. Okay. One left to go. Uh, in turn six. No. Melee attack that centipede. Everyone else is going back to work. We're, we're, we're done with this. This was just way too long. It takes literally a day to kill those things. All right, time to repair everything up. But first, in turn six, your job is going to be pretty simple. You're going to wait till he gets to about there, and then you're going to run out and smack him. Your job is to kill him. I mean, you've got a shield belt on. You could probably take a few hits. Yeah, I think there is about... Right, go get him. Go on, sick him. <laughs> okay, in turn six, y you can have a name now. In fact, in turn seven, we should probably give you a name. You got 13 kills. What's the bet? Most of those are mechanoids. And in turn six, you've got two kills. One of them was an execution, but you did, you did whack that last centipede. So yeah, names for all. Yeah, that's... I haven't paused the game. It's just hanging. And there we go. The reason why. Uh, per... Approaching from multiple angles, attacking immediately, unusually clever with their tactics. Yeah, a bunch of relatives. And what's our wealth looking at? Okay, we're up to 43,000 in wealth. It keeps going up all the time because of all the corpses that keeps accumulating. Right, that's uh, 37,000 points. Let's let's have a quick jump to the location. Well, that's, that's a few humans. It's a few melee humans. What do we got down here? Oh my, how many is there? Okay, so including our people, of which, you know, numbers, numbers mod, far easier. 709. Right. 709 humans. Um, I don't think we can take them in the field. It's just a wild guess. I'm thinking trying to fight them in the field would be a little bit tricky. Uh, they're going to be mobile, so we could use a couple of anti grain warheads, but I prefer to save this. We've only got six of those, and we've still got... Nine and a half days to go, and I'm betting there's going to be more pirates along, and I'd like to save it for the pirates. So for the tribals, hmm, let me think. Or I can realize I am I am way over time already. And I blame the centipedes for that, just the centipedes. The pirates, they were really quick and easy to deal with. Uh, these tribals might be a little bit trickier, but I'm thinking doomsdays. We've got several of them lying about the place. Let's see, we got, we got about 15 doomsdays. I think we can soften these guys up with a couple of Doomsday shots apiece, or a Doomsday shot on each one of them, maybe, you know, maybe a couple, and then uh, take it from there. We want to deal with them quickly, though. We want to kill them as quickly as possible so that we can get back to finishing off this curtain wall. I'm beginning to get really scared of what'll happen if some Breacher Raids show up, because we are not really designed for that, and if any of them dig into those reactors, it could be, well, very, very, very messy. For now, I'm actually kind of happy with how our defenses hold up, namely because this kill box is just brutally overpowered. It, it literally takes the fun out of killing centipedes. I didn't think that was possible. I thought there was no way to make slaughtering centipedes feel unfun, but it kind of did drain it just a little bit. Though the pirates, yeah, the pirates definitely went up for that. Anyway, anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. Tomorrow it's going to be, or sorry, Thursday, Friday is going to be finishing off this. We should be able to knock through the last nine and a half days on the engines and get off this planet. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed and good luck.